Hey YouTube friends and welcome to RK Trader Center. My name is Roy. Well, I had a couple of good sales go out today. I'll talk about them here in a minute. But uh, one of the things that I have going out is this package right here. And I've tried to cover up the name a little bit. This is going to the Republic of North Macedonia, Bulgarian Embassy. So I ship all over the world and including embassies. And this is a chess set. This is a kangaroo chess set. I'll tell you about it here in a minute. <music> Hey YouTube friends, welcome to Arcade Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, today's video is going to be a good one. We're going to have, show you some items that sold. Plus, I'm going to tell you about a little bit about eBay international shipping, some things that you might not know about. And also, I'm going to share with you a place that I sourced for for some items that even I didn't know I was going to go sourcing for some items. But I found some good items there, and it's probably someplace you never thought of going. So I'm going to share that with you. Also, I want to be a little honest with you. The beginning of the right before the beginning of the intro, I showed you a little box that's going to North Macedonia, and it's going to the Belgium Embassy, which is really cool because I've never sold anything to the Belgium Embassy before. Never sold anything to any embassy, and I think that's really neat. What sold was a chess set it's a small chess set it's a kangaroo brand is the name it's a travel chess set it sold for 13 dollars. the buyer paid the shipping and like i said it is going international to north macedonia the reason i'm showing that is actually that sold after i made this video this is actually the second time i've done the introduction to this video uh, so i'm kind of redoing it just because i wanted to show that and explain it because it is part of what i'm going to talk about in this video uh, some people do international shipping, some people don't, and some people are fairly new to eBay and they're afraid of international shipping, and I don't want you to be afraid, but I'm going to explain some things about international shipping you might not know. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. Let me show you the items that did sell that I did record. First of all, before we get into the items that sold, uh, we did have a giveaway in the last video, this uh, coffee mug, and I'm shipping it out today. This is going to Denken. 508 so i really appreciate him he was the winner of this coffee mug and if you didn't see that it's because you didn't watch the video or you're not subscribed to the channel or you didn't know we were having a giveaway but we had a giveaway and the winner did contact me so i'm going to mail that out and get it right out to him so not a lot of big sales today and i can tell that some of the sales is leading me to know that christmas is coming because it seems like some of these items may be christmas items or stocking stuffers things like that one thing that sold was this old Hannah Montana hat. This is a pretty neat little cap. Uh, picked this up at a garage sale, inexpensive price. This sold for $7.19 and the buyer paid the shipping. And the reason that it shows $7.19 is because I did run a Thanksgiving sale and I did sell some items over Thanksgiving and this is one of those items. So if you, ever, if you see an odd ending in my price today, it's because we ran that sale. But, it's a good little item. It's going to ship out real easy. All right. Another item that sold was this little tiny plush seahorse. He's a brightly colored seahorse. Uh, I picked up a bag of plushes, small little plushes, uh, TY Beanie Babies, things like that at the thrift store. And I was going to lot them, break them up into lots and sell them that way, which if short range, if I wanted to make some quicker money, that's what I would do. But long range, I really didn't care if they sat and the reason being is when I opened up the bag of plushes I found some other items in there some action figures and toys that were vintage that are worth a little bit of money so I went ahead and decided just to go ahead and list everything individually like I said for long range that's not the way to do it short range yeah if you want to sell them short range and make a quick buck you can do that the bag of plushes only cost me two dollars and 99 cents and so I'm making some money off of it this sold for seven dollars and 19 cents so one thing I sold is this 7-Eleven plushie. And actually you've seen me recently sell another one like this. I think it had a green or yellow top. This one has a red top. When I say that I go sourcing at odd places, I actually went to the convenience store just to get some gas. And while I was there inside, they were having a sale on a lot of their items. So I picked up a lot of their items and this was one of those things they had on sale it was marked down and you know i thought well it had a little tag with it with a barcode so i used my ebay app and scanned it and lo and behold these things were selling really good really fast and for some good money i mean you know who would have thought sourcing at 7-eleven or stripes depending on which 
convenience store you're going to, they're both the same chain, would make some money. You can see it says 7-Eleven right here. This sold for $15.19 free shipping, and it's going to go right into a poly bag, and it's going to probably cost me about $3.60 to mail out. So I showed you that Slurpee plush, and you're probably thinking, okay, yeah, all right. Well, while I was in there, they had decks of playing cards. This is blue. This is a purplish color here, and you can see it has a 7-Eleven logo on it. It says Slurpee. They're bicycle brand playing cards. They're brand new, still sealed in the package. I think they were selling these for a dollar a piece. And I sold both of these together for $20 and the buyer paid the shipping. Again, it was one of those items I didn't expect to sell. It's got a barcode on it. And again, when I looked these up, these were selling really good for good money. So I don't know if they'll have them at your 7-Eleven. I went back to my 7-Eleven and they were all out of them. Somebody else probably realized the same thing that I did and that these are going to sell for really good. But I went ahead and listed these and lot of them together for two and they sold for $20 and the buyer paid the shipping. So in this box, which is a rather large box, but it's really lightweight, is allergy filters. These are 20 by 20 by one. They're Merv 11, which is a really good uh, strength for allergy or if you have allergic to allergens. And as you can see, it's all, it is an open big box, but all these are brand new filters. There's six of them in there. And this big box sold for $35.99. And it will probably go out uh, UPS because of the size. Uh, the filters themselves are 20 by 20 by 1. So this is probably 21, 21 by, I'm guessing, by about 7. So this is uh, one of those items that if you find happen to have or get like some people do and they're the wrong size well you can still turn around and sell them and make money off of them well it's pretty obvious what this is this is the grinch it's a t-shirt this is a large t-shirt it's black uh the grinch wearing a santa hat and this item here was a thrift store find they were having a sale that day on color codes which is half off and then they had a rack that was half off the half off so i think i only paid about 50 cents for this uh, it's a common shirt. It's not something that's not old. It's not vintage. It's not unique, but it is nice because it is around Christmas time and it's sold for $7.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. So this is the last item that's going out. This is a clear glass La Femme cocktail glass. It is made by Libby. It has an L on the bottom. And as you can see, it's got nude ladies on it. Uh, this was one of many glasses that I picked up in a lot from a thrift store. I think I paid about 50 cents a piece for them. Uh, picked up, I don't remember what it was, 20, 24 of them. I listed them in groups of like three, four, five, or six. I can't remember what I sold the lot says. But I sold them for like $30 a lot. And I think what it was was I had this list as a display when I was taking pictures of just a single one. And when I did the listing, I counted up all the glasses and I forgot to count the one that was sitting up here because this was by itself. And this is the only one that I had left. I sold all the rest of them. Well, since this was the only one I had left, I went ahead and lowered the price. This sold for $7.99. It is going international and it is going to Sweden. That brings me to a really, really good question that I just got recently from a viewer that watched another one of my videos. And the person's name is Lindy. And Lindy said... Thank you so much. Very helpful. Just a question. If you have an item that's free shipping and you sell it international, do you pay for shipping or the buyer? And that's a really good question, especially if you're fairly new to eBay or you don't know how to use eBay shipping. You're afraid to ship internationally. A lot of people don't like to ship internationally because they're afraid of the item breaking. They're afraid of the item not making it to its destination. They're afraid if it's going to get returned. You know, is it going to cost them? Questions like that. Now, as for international shipping, it's too easy. It is way too easy. When you're listing an item, there's a little block down there that says eBay shipping or it says eBay global shipping program. And you just click that box. And that means that anybody that buys outside of the United States, buys your item, that they're going to go ahead and pay the uh, shipping and cost to get that item shipped to them. Now, if you have your item going out, you may have to pay for that item to go to Kentucky because that's where the warehouse is that eBay ships from. That's their global shipping 
area. They have a warehouse over there and you mail your item there and then they'll go out. So if you have it free shipping, a lot of people are afraid of that. Say you have this little item right here. It's real lightweight. It's going to go in a poly bag. It's easy to mail out. Uh, like I said, about $3 and 50, 60 cents to mail out. Now let's say you have this listed as free shipping. I had it listed at free shipping. It sold for $7 and 19 cents. But what if somebody from overseas decided they wanted to buy this item and I have it at free shipping? Do I got to pay for the cost? Well, through the eBay global shipping program, wherever it's going, they're going to pay for the shipping cost to go from Kentucky to there. I only have to pay for me to send it from where I'm, my location to Kentucky. So $3.50. Now, if you're not using the global, the eBay global shipping program, you're not using that, make sure you check it because you got to use it. If you don't use it, there is another place that you can put in another way of shipping international. And maybe you've heard Lonnie over at Shed Flips or Kevin at Commonwealth Picker. And what they'll do is they use a site called Pirate Ship. I use Pirate Ship. Pirate Ship is a, is a good place. There's a lot of other different shipping places that you can go to and order and, and buy your labels online. And that's all it is, is you're just buying your labels online from here and they're giving you a really good discount. Pirate Ship is really good. I'm not uh, getting anything paid for promoting Pirate Ship. I just really like the program. The only thing is it goes by cubic weight, which means the size of the item. So if I wanted to send this through Pirate Ship, I could, but the size and weight might really raise the price. And if I have this listed at free shipping and this is going out international, well, it might cost me quite a bit to ship this international if I'm not using the global shipping program. And through Pirate Ship, you can only send items up to four pounds through that cubic shipping rate. Pirate Ship's easy to understand. Uh, just go to the Pirate Ship website, take a look at it. You'll see you can incorporate it with eBay, you can download, and you can actually print off all your labels through Pirate Ship that you sold items on eBay. But anyway, I just want to say that, yes, um, if you sell an item free shipping, you're going to pay the shipping cost international. If you're using the global shipping program that eBay has, you're only going to ship it to Kentucky and pay the normal price it would take for you to ship a first class or priori priority item to Kentucky. And if you're not using the global shipping program, then in that other second box, you want to put in a way or a price that's going to cost to ship that item. So someone who's purchasing international will know what it's going to cost. And that's where you could look up and use pirate ship again, up to four pounds and four pounds only. If you go anything higher than that, it is going to be cheaper through pirate ship, but you're still going to pay a higher rate. And if you're selling something for $20 and you got free shipping and it's going to North Macedonia, then that's going to eat up all your profits and you're not going to have any money. In fact, you may even have to pay more to ship the item there. So I recommend making sure all your items are marked with the global shipping program. And then if you want, you can use that second little box and put in an alternate and you can do it for Canada and the rest of the world. And that's really good because if I want to mail a four pound package to Canada, it's like $23.95. If I want to mail it to the rest of the world, it's like $35.99. That's what it would cost me to mail a four pound item. So I hope that kind of helps for people that are curious about the international shipping program and whether or not it's worth it. I don't want to scare anybody off. I'm just trying to say it's too easy, too simple. I ship items all over the world. I use the global shipping program. They pay for it. They cover it. And I don't have to worry about it. All I got to do is mail it Kentucky. And one other good thing about that is when it arrives, eBay will let me give me a notice that it arrived safely there and it's shipped off safely. So if anything gets damaged, broken, lost along the way, it's not my responsibility because eBay's already got it covered. So I hope that rambling about the free shipping kind of helped somebody. I hope it didn't confuse anybody. If you got any more questions on it, just let me know. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap these up, take them to the post office. So everyone out there, if you're a reseller, find it, sell it, profit. 
everyone that just watched and stumbled across decided they just want to see what this video is about. I appreciate you coming. Take care, be safe, be kind to one another, and have a great day. Bye-bye.